Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, you sick of this game yet? <laughs> I've been trying so hard to not spoil myself from this game. Myself. So, what do you know about it going in? Um, well, right now the only thing I know is that something really messed up happens, and then everything just falls apart from there. Yeah, so, which girl are you going after? Oh man, <sighs> You That's pick a good any one. of the three girls. Any of the three, huh? So any um, of the three. Uh, she is the uh, okay. The Miss Little Miss Redbow here looks like she's the always happy. Gotta, gotta, you know, gotta make everybody smile, you know. And uh, purple hair in the back here looks like the shy and reserved one. I always have a weakness for those, but since. Since I always go for them, I'll probably go for somebody different. Uh, and then we've got uh, Miss Baca over here. Little Miss Baca. Little Miss Baca. Pierce, uh, Pierce here tells me that uh, you can't get this girl, the the brown haired. Yeah, unfortunately, no. She's a non-available route. Mm. All right. I mean, there are options, but usually it bails you out a bit, so. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. Glump. Glump? Glump. Oh, Glump Sama. <laughs> Shower me with your Moby Dick. Well, it's a literature club. Uh, that's true. Oh, yes, let's make a tale of two cities. <laughs> hey! I see an annoying girl run toward me from the distance. Yeah, okay, so she is, she's the, uh, the childhood friend. I, I got it. I got it. Yep. Oh, you get, you understand? Uh, do you need the complex trope broken <laughs> down a little further for you? <laughs> However, I just saw an idle in front of a crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> Me? <laughs> Glump. God. Glump. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say like you... Thinking about a door. Oh god. Oh, this is and gonna be difficult. You say that like you think you were ignoring me. And this is gonna be difficult. That's, That's mean, Glump. I guess we'll get married forever and <laughs> ever. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little sonic inflection you're giving him. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> Whatever. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Sayori? Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to, to your club. But it's just called my bed. <laughs> it's the My Bed Club. We sleep in my bed. <laughs> sometimes together. It may or may not involve clothes. <laughs> And then you get there, it's a bunk bed. <laughs> you get on the top, I'll get on the bottom. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. <laughs> pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. I like how you're giving her a bit of a southern accent. <laughs> I'm going for this whole Bray Wyatt thing. <laughs> what about her? You want to now fuck her it, well? you, can take, you can take all the lollies. No, oh, God, don't. It, it's your it's your LP. Oh my God. I'm taking the characters I like. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> you brought a boy? <laughs> Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Glump, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh, oh, words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Whoa! Whoa! What are you looking at? If you want to say something sad. S sorry. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Glump. 
Monica, smile sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... <laughs> you too, Monica. <laughs> Come sit down, Club. He made room for you at the table so you can sit next to the your Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them, bitch. <laughs> so sorry, I get a little too excited. <laughs> And how about I make some tea as well? <laughs> With that southern accent, I thought you were going to say sweet tea. <laughs> sweet peach tea. Sir, sweet tea. For my sweet tea. <laughs> I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. I, I, I feel like I'm almost going GLaDOS with Monica here. <laughs> should, I, should I just go full GLaDOS? Go ahead, why not? I had no idea you were go so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know... Just hurry up and take one, Baka. Sayuri grab grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayuri talks with her mouth full and already's managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> I want to lick it off. <laughs> I just, it just, the icing just bothers me, you know, and not like in a weird way. <laughs> what are, what are <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. But why are you thanking me? It, it's not like I. Oh my god! I swear. <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? God, it's acknowledging it. <laughs> Made them for your anything. I swear. Eh? I thought you technically did, so you already said. Well, maybe. But it's not for y you know, you, dummy. You should have said Baka. Baka. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. You could probably be a board member for any of the nature clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Haha, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something like testing subjects, doing it for science. Now for literature. <laughs> for literature. There we go. <laughs> there you go. So plump. Uh, the 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 mangoes and the animus. <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. But <laughs> manga, nailed it! Nailed it! I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It's okay. So she's she's into the the animus. She loves the animus. She loves the animus. She's a weeb like us. You're telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Here he goes on and on, and I get bored and fall asleep. <laughs> Clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her li eyes light up she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Yes, I get it. It's foreshadowing. Thank you, Pierce. No problem. I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Shut up, Pierce. I get it. <laughs> uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? 
Well, I just... And <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. So here he sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her Yep, that's that's what that's written. Yep. <laughs> I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. What do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them, fuck. <laughs> I'm not... A... Oh, that's you. Oh. <laughs> ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sure, that level of writing takes a little more than just... confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your reader, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest echoes of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Fuck no! <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Warning. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nani? <laughs> Nani? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made a decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, hmm. I lose my train of thought. I'll for a girl stare at me with dejected eyes. But, but. I'm sorry, I, I thought. Huh. Club. God. <laughs> Show such a stupid name for this. <laughs> you all. I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Ugh. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the Literature Club. Everyone perks up. Yes! That's what I want. <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Happy. Eat. Tsundere. Eat. Shy one. Some. And of course, GLaDOS. Hey. Will I really be happy spending every day after school at a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen if <laughs> with whoever likes your poem the most. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, so based on their personalities. Bubbles. Uh, special. Chocolate. Electricity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now this is this does determine your next day's activity. Oh, okay. Because uh, uh, wh whoever you please the most out of those little bobbing heads is who you'll spend the next day's activity. With. Oh, okay. I, I see them like jumping down with each word that they like. So yeah. Uh, parfait. Who are you trying to go after? I I don't know actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Papa. Oh God. Okay. Uh, question? Memories? Suicide? Jesus! Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Childhood? Uh... Amazing! Hop! Hop! Fun! Milk! Kawaii! Oh god. Flower. Pink. Climax. 
Uh, the climax. <laughs> pout. Uh, anxiety. Jesus. All right. There you are. Hi again, Clump. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Or else I might have to kill you. <laughs> nah, don't worry. Wait, what was that last part? This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Clump. I do hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. <laughs> overwhelming? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! Yuri even bought you something today, you know? Wait, Saori! Uh, me? Oh, uh, not really. Don't be shy! It's really nothing. It's just like a wet napkin. <laughs> it's a dildo. <laughs> God! <laughs> hey! Don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. I don't want it. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise, as long as it's not a wet napkin or a dildo. And it'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches, reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. It's a flashlight of me. <laughs> I didn't want you to feel left out. <laughs> uh, thanks. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read, you dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't really have a great attention span. Ooh, a butterfly. You dense motherfucker. <laughs> and we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Oh, uh, d discuss. This is how is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I can't read at all. I look forward to hearing what you think. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! <laughs> she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone's just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. M mango You read Mango, right? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat next to uh, against the wall, beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signal and signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't Chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs won't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Huh? Why's that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cute. Okay. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. This is safe here in the club room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, he beat the crap out of me. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. The thought just makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready for mm, with today's poems? Who should I show my poem to first? Oh, who should I show it to? I don't know. Oh, I, I will tell you that you do have to show it to all of them. Oh, okay. But order does matter. Or wait, order does matter? Yeah, because they'll react like, "Oh, you show it to her first. Oh, okay. Hmm. Jeez. Okay. So, I'm thinking 
with what with the words that I picked, it was mostly uh, Sayori and Natsuki. Mm -hmm. Although Monica really didn't have a thing, so. Mm. Okay, now Monica is more of a, a neutral option to check. Oh, okay. So she's she's just there to be like, oh, this is this is how you do. Yeah, this, this is oh, this is a very Yuri poem. Okay. Oh, okay. So I should probably go for her first then. Yeah. Yeah, she's a she's a good. Okay, I should yeah. start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in the effort. Hi, Clump. Uh, I hand Monica my poem. Uh, whatever, same sentence. Mm-hmm. I like it, Glump. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Mmm. <sighs> mm. <laughs> I was programmed to feel confident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Confidence.exe. Simulation complete. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction of the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But I'm too late. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy, copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Ooh. So, I'm not very good at uh, interpreting poems. Okay. And especially done in this style. I guess it's nihilistic? A yeah, in bit. a sense. A little bit. I, I, I can't really tell what it's like, you know, about, but it, it, that's what What's it feels poetry? Like. You interpret shit. Yeah. Interpret it, bitch. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Yeah, see? What was the inspira- no wait, what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Hmm. Alright. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I guess I should go for her? Yeah, I would. Alright. Uh. Uh. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all... Uh... Uh, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh. I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. Oh, you mean the one I wrote about bubbles and suicide? Yeah, I love bubbles suicide. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, yeah, yeah, well, that's not great, but let me show you what a real literature looks like. And you just weren't went and ruined yet with bubble suicide. <laughs> I hope you're happy. Uh, so in other words, you're saying you liked it. Oh. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. She chokes. <laughs> and I have to perform the Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> uh, you're so... Just... You don't understand anything, do you? Oh, this is short. Okay. Yep. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see, what what's this about? So, we've got all these animals that have, like, a specific trait about them. 
Mm -hmm. But here we just we just got people that are, you know, trying. Yeah. And that's about it. All right. Okay. I, that that one I could understand a little more. I thought you would like it. <laughs> yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Neat. That was informative. Pick for me, Pierce. Ugh, do Yuri. All right. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Oh, ouch. It's really fucking obvious. Oh, God. Uh, ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Oh, God, she apologizes way too much. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. The calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I, I notice uh, it says, uh, breathing air of the present but living in the past. This is not letting go of the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. I, I, I think... I, I, I'm starting to get the hang of it. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Uh, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. I actually think your handwriting is pretty, even though I can't read. Eh? <laughs> That's a relief. I like how you're going with a southern accent and then you go, eh? Yes. <laughs> I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. All right. Would you like to join the church of our great flying spaghetti monster Cthulhu? <laughs> you zoom tight. <laughs> at all, you know? God, I'm really just stumbling over my words, aren't I? Well, you're picking, like, the hardest voice yeah, to do this thing. Yeah, that's, that's true. God, i falsetto! I'm not sure Sarah sees the full picture of my motive here. I just want to get some booty! Of these high school girls. God. <laughs> You'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, It makes me feel like you missed me, Kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed. Make me rub the sleepy from my- The sleepy! The sleepy! Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I want breakfast. <laughs> oh, God. Sayori. This Are is you thinking Arby's? <laughs> <laughs> This is just guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just, just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit with a yes or no, to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least, you know, it at least makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean! I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Put it. It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> All right. All right, Sayori. Uh, you can save here, or you can keep going if you'd like, but you'll have to 
all the characters. Yeah, I, I don't want to do that at this point. We've been going for an hour. <laughs> We've been going for an hour and a half. Yeah, that's what I figured, but... Alright, well, yeah, cool. We'll, we'll see you all next time. Yep, for more Doki Doki Literature Club. Doki Doki!